So you're probably watching this video because you've got the same issue as I have. When you turn on the DualShock 4 controller, so you press the PlayStation button, the white light flashes twice and then the red light appears. And that means you're What that means basically is that there is a hardware problem with the DualShock 4 controller and um, it could be either one of three things. Um, either the charging port or the um, USB port, the one you use for charging the controller is broken or the cable that connects the uh, charging port to the motherboard of the controller is uh, faulty or if the two are not faulty then there is any other hardware issue which I hope is not the case uh, with my DualShock 4. What I'm gonna try to do today is I will try to replace the uh, charging port and as well the ribbon cable that connects it to the motherboard of the DualShock 4. If you want to do that yourself at home, you're gonna need a special screwdriver. It's a very tiny screwdriver. You can order it on eBay for about two pounds. Just search for DualShock 4 screwdriver and you should be able to order one of those very quick. You're also gonna need the uh, charging port but you're gonna have to research um, a specific model of DualShock controller that you have at home. And that's because there are a couple of versions of the DualShock 4 controller that were released out there on the market. Now, which was, there was the first one that came out in 2013 with the PlayStation 4, then when the PS4 Slim came out, PS4 Pro. The easiest way to find out which version of the DualShock 4 controller you have is to look at the number at the back of the controller in here. It usually starts with the CUH. Now, once you get that number, you can research what uh, USB port is compatible with your DualShock 4 controller. Um, I think my one is compatible with the JDS 050 or 055. Now again, um, make sure that you research a correct USB uh, controller for your uh, DualShock 4 because if you order the wrong one, it might not be compatible with your controller, okay? So the first thing you have to do is turn this around and there are four screws you have to remove that are holding uh, the bottom part and the top part together. So you have to take them away. Once you've taken once you've taken those screws away you have to pop the sides but be gentle because uh, you don't want to break the uh, controller so all right so I don't know if I broke it but looks like I took it apart now this is what I was talking about when I told you to uh, take it apart a little slow that there is this cable that connects the uh, the board and the rest of and the charging port of the controller now there is this little button that I need to press which basically restarts the controller so press that and you see that the light was switched off now, what you need to do is just disconnect this ribbon from the board. You see, just like that, unplug it. So I'm just gonna put this aside for now. So now there are a few things um, that you need to take apart. As you see here, this is the cable that holds it together. Now, I don't know if there's anything wrong with this cable, but when I, look, when I look at the cable closer, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So, it might as well be the um, USB charger. this completely apart there is this adhesive that basically holds it together this is the uh, back panel 
then uh, it comes to ribbon. So you just unplug the ribbon like that. There you go. And uh, here is the USB charger. So there's one more screw that you have to remove. So I'm gonna do just that. And uh, there is this piece of adhesive that holds the USB controller together with the plastic bag. So this is how you can remove the old USB charger or a charging port and the ribbon cable and now we're gonna replace it with a new one. So here I've got the new ribbon and the new USB port. So I'm gonna replace the old one, <coughs> the old USB port and the old ribbon cable with the new one. See the, the way you connect it back is that the contacts, these ones, should be facing away from the battery. So let's you have to push it a little bit higher. Yeah, my bad. See if that's going to work all right now moment of the truth let's see if I fix the issue or not no, let's press the button looks like something's doing and the right the light is not red looks like orange right or kind of reddish mode no let's look at this uh, Bluetooth Bluetooth on and the DualShock 4 is connected. Not sure if you can see this. DualShock 4 connected, so let's try to play some game here. And the issue is fixed. So, hey guys, I just wanted to show this to you very quickly. So, you see, I've plugged the DualShock 4 to my PlayStation 5. And look at this the color of the, of the backlight is yellow, which means that the controller is charging. Wait.